Race three is the Stu Grey Maiden. It's a mild maiden, first of the maiden races. It's for three year olds, and the top one is Anne Quing Ad Fero, Vinnie Gerard. Big Tom Brady, Paul Rhodes, Bolin Rock, and Darren Howells, Casanova, Daniel French, Cassius Clay, Molly at Surfer, El Gran Senor, Hilltop Stables, Hot Pursuit, Django, Ingenious, Tam King, King Charles, Han Jones, Looks Like Trouble. Pontypool Racing, Mufasa Hollywood, Derek Hinton, Naming Rights, Leon Van Rinsberg, Race from the Storm, Joshua Sutherland, Red Danehill, David Robertson, Risque, Stu Gray, Robbers Lance, Jim Murray, Roots Hall, Darren Thompson, Scottish Distillery, Daniel Arroganti and Vincent Price, Martin Leadham. They're all in the stalls and away they go. And this is the first of the maidens and the first of the big fields. And we're going to get some serious racing going on there now. And... King Charles has gone to the lead. King Charles wants his head and he's the leader. And he's a good two or three lengths clear. Wide on the track is Casanova. And Cassius Clay and Genius. Big Tom Brady and El Grunson are also close up. The one struggling out the back is Mufasa Hollywood. But King Charles has quickly gone into the lead and he's quickly gone four or five lengths clear. We're already down in towards the final five and a half furlongs. And it's King Charles in the lead. El Grunson all the greys move through in a second. Then Casanova and Robbers Lance in Genius. Then Red Dane Hill. Cassius Clay's trying to get closer, so is Big Tom Brady out towards the back. Oh, risque naming rights. Looks like Trouble and Mufasa Hollywood, who's well outpaced, but it's King Charles on the inside. Casanova's up the centre of the track. Ingenious is close up. So too then is El Grand Senor. Red Dane Hill's also close. They're beginning to bunch behind the leader, but it's King Charles who's still just about in front. King Charles from Anne Quing Ad Fero. Then El Grand Senor, Robbers Lance, Red Dane Hill's after that one. As they race now in towards the final two and a half furlongs, and King Charles has kicked again. King Charles is half a length clear from Anne King Ad Fero in second. Anne King Ad Fero now beginning to chant here on the outside Hot Pursuit in the Yellow Jackets making a big challenge and it's Hot Pursuit who's come through and Hot Pursuit has come through with a big Hot Pursuit and Hot Pursuit is now in the lead region now Nick Clear he's going ahead he's clear by the half length as they come through to the final furlong it's Hot Pursuit in the lead Roots Hall is throwing out a big challenge so too is Robbers Lance but it looks like Hot Pursuit's got them all beaten Hot Pursuit they're going to have to pursue in hotly and they're not going to catch him up to the line Hot Pursuit takes it Roots Hall Robbers Lance race from the Storm and Engineers and Big Tom Brady and Red Danehill Cassius Clay after that, Mufasa Hollywood didn't pass a horse the whole race through. And the winner is Hot Pursuit. That looks like it might well be a pretty good horse there. That one didn't let anybody get past it at all. And it's a win for Django. Django takes the first maiden race of the season with Hot Pursuit. Root Hall second for Darren Thompson, then Robbers Lance for Jim Murray. Joshua Sutherland's race from the Storm was fourth, and Ingenious for Tam King, who might be in his first season, takes fifth. Mm -hmm.